Hey, welcome back. Several years ago, I went on a personal campaign to try and understand, or to make sure I understood, all the words that we sing in our songs at church. A lot of those songs are really old. Some of them have phrases in them that I really didn't understand. Some of them have phrases in them that I'm not really sure I agree with. Let me give you an example. This world is not my home. It's an old song. It's a song that we sing. It's a song that many of us love. But listen to the words. This world is not my home. I am just passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. I understand the sentiment of that song. I agree with the sentiment of that song. But that last phrase, I can't feel at home in this world anymore. It's mentioned four times throughout the song. And honestly, I really believe that I feel at home right here, right now. When this life is over, I want to go to heaven. I'm planning on going to heaven. I believe that I'm going to heaven with, without a doubt. But what about right now? There's an old joke from the days of the bus ministry when there's a busload of kids. A man got up in front of the group of children and he said, Who wants to go to heaven? All these kids throw their hand up and, yeah, I want to go, I want to go. And he noticed there was one child in the back of the bus that didn't throw his hand up. So when they got to church, he found that child and he went up to him and he said, don't you want to go to heaven? I noticed you didn't raise your hand. And the boy said, well, yeah, I want to go. But I thought you were getting a busload ready to go right now. You know, that's a question that even the Apostle Paul agonized over when he was in prison. Do I go be with Christ or do I stay here? Well, you know, I'm not in prison. My life is, is pretty good. I have a friend, Pete Sullivan, who goes to Tusculum Church of Christ. And a couple weeks ago, Pete asked a question on Facebook, trying to stimulate a conversation. He said, how do you think Christians will react when this separation and pandemic is over? And I answered that question, but it got me thinking about all of the panic and fear that I saw spread through people when we began this pandemic. And I started wondering, what do we really believe about heaven and how wonderful it is? And, and I'm really not preaching to you now, but this is a question that I ask myself. What do I really believe about how wonderful heaven is? The Hebrew writer in the 11th chapter of Hebrews Hebrews list a lot of people that are examples of great faith. I want to read to you what he writes in verse 13. Hebrews 11, 13. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance. And they admitted that they were aliens and strangers on earth. People who say such, such things show that they are looking for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had the opportunity to return. Instead, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he, was prepared, he has prepared a city for them. I want to end this, Devo, with another song. The words to it kind of go, Heaven is a wonderful place. It is filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. It's a place to long for, too. Stay safe. Be well out there.